This is for Jim and Steve, who had to come down. And they've got to play a sort of film noir, maybe Humphrey bogart -y sort of scene, uh, in which they sort of do a line, and then they have to narrate what the other person has to do. Sounds difficult, and believe me, it is difficult. But can you just suggest a location where they might be, where two people might meet? Sorry? A betting shop. A betting shop. Fair enough. Two people meeting in a betting shop and doing it as a sort of film noir, narrating for each other. Where you go. <sighs> Hi, Bill. Come to place a bed. I knew he'd come to place a bed. He had the money in his hand and he was whistling the thing tune to the sports night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, I was whistling the speed of thoughts night. <laughs> sure, I've been drinking that day. <laughs> been a long kind of day for me. Suddenly, the old Bob next to me started doing the most perfect impression of Michael Jackson I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> I didn't know what he was trying to prove, but I waited and listened. Ow! I impressed him with my impression of Michael Jackson, but I could see he was feeling strange. He started to pirouette on the spot and wink at me. Suddenly, I got my knickers in a twist. At this point, I placed a Yankee. I knew Bob didn't like me placing Yankees, didn't like me betting at all. That's why he started touching himself provocatively. <laughs> so, you're gonna bet a Yankee, are you? I loved it when he betted Yankees, because then I could touch myself provocatively. <laughs> Just at that moment, he looked at me passionately. <laughs> wow! Bob did that to me sometimes. I knew the only way out of this betting shop was to get him back to my place as soon as possible. Just at that moment, though, he spontaneously combusted. <laughs> well, we can't wait for that. Thank you. Thanks.